afternoon and very good evening to you, the good the tube. Hope you're all hope you're grand and all as well in your world. Uh, welcome to the Boss Katana shootout, everybody. Mark 1 versus Mark 2. So, uh, I'm very curious. The unboxing, when, when I was doing the unboxing video for Mark 2, it just kept going from my head. It's like, I need, to, I need to know. I need to know what the difference is. Why, you know... You know, I know the Mark II has diff has more features, but having more features doesn't mean anything if it's the same sound or that sounds better. You know what I mean? It's it's um, you know, if that if the Mark One sounds better with less features over the Mark II with more features, I will recommend the Mark One. <laughs> Hair in my face. Um, you know what I mean? Because it, it comes down, it all comes down to sound. They're both ridiculously easy to use, they're both ridiculously easy to dial in sounds, but, and they've both got tons of features, yes, the, the Mark II has more features, but, and they're also going to stop updating the, the boss, yeah, the, they're, they're going to stop stop updating the, the Mark Ones, but I've never updated the, the Mark One. I've never even had my two katanas through the tone studio, I've always been able to just get what I want out of the amp without the aid of it, you know what I mean, I'm really happy with it as is. You know, my only um, gripe with it is the speaker in the 50 is a bit fizzy. There's a bit of a shrillness to it. But other than that, you know, that's rectified in the 100. It's not there. So, so although this one's got more features and has more updates coming and all that kind of thing, if this one sounds better and feels better, I'm going to stick here and this one will, I'll just get rid of this one. Because I don't, I don't, you know, I'm I'm happy with my 50 and I'm happy with my 100, uh, the Mark One. Um, I've got to say, I've played through the Mark Two loads since I got it. I got it um, Wednesday last week. That was when I filmed the unboxing video. Well, I got it on Wednesday, and I've been playing through it a lot, like really giving. Because I wanted to break in the speaker a bit. I don't want I don't want the speaker to be like you know brand new. So I've been really kind of uh, running it on a hundred watt mode, really quite loud, and just basically giving it a bit of a, excuse me, a bit of a wearing in period, basically. So it kind of you know they match a bit better. But I've got to say I do have some negatives with the Mark II that aren't there with the Mark One. You know, and um, and I'll talk about them afterwards. So what we're going to do today is I have a clean kind of John Fashanti esque kind of sound. I have an overdriven kind of Jimi Hendrix Voodoo Child kind of sound. And I have a full out kind of lead tone uh, programmed into both these amps. Uh, both have the same EQ. That's one thing that I found really, really weird is the EQ I used on the Mark One is the EQ I used on the Mark Two. Do they sound different? Do they sound the same? I don't know, but I thought I'd make for quite a fair comparison if it's all the same EQ. So, um, and yeah, so that's that. I've kind of like set them up with this similar kind of reverb and stuff like that. Uh, I am going to use the 57 mic uh, only, I think. Should I use room mic as well? I don't know. I might, yeah, I'm just going to use the 57 because I want to hear it. I want to hear it clear. You know what I mean? I, I want to hear exactly what's going on here. So uh, we're just going to use the 57. We're not going to use the room mic. Uh, I will quickly say they, sat, they both sound ridiculously huge in the room. The Katana, even the 50, in a room fills it they are crazy they are absolutely awesome for that they you know when they're when they're wound up they just fill the room i've done a gig with this one in a in a massive kind of like social hall unmiked and it filled the space and i did a gig in a pub with a 50 uh, over a um a, a full drum kit and it, it just filled the space and you know, it's unreal uh, absolute unreal amplifiers so yeah so that's what we got so it'll be clean on the mark one clean on the mark two overdrive on the mark one overdrive on the mark two Full out lead on the Mark One, full out lead on the Mark uh, Two. So, um, and I'm just really curious. I'll mic them the same. It'll just be off, uh, off, off center of the of the of the cone. Uh, same distance as well. It's like it's like two finger lengths. So it's about about nearly about an inch, if you will. So uh, off the speaker cloth. So it's about that far away from the speaker, speaker cloth. I hate close miking. I always like it a bit further away. The amp it breathes more. So. Um, so I'm going to mic them exactly the same, and then we'll just have a listen and we'll see what happens. But by the way, I will talk at the end. I do have negatives with the Mark Two, and these negatives aren't there with the Mark One. So I, 
you know, I'll get to that in a bit. I'm a little bit annoyed by it, if I'm being perfectly honest. But anyway, we'll get to that when we get to it. So, um, I'm going to set them up for the same level. I'm going to run them on the 100 watt mode as well. No, not 0 0.5, not the 50 watt mode. I'm going to run them on 100 watt mode. And uh, let's let's get to it. I'm going to use my uh, the Oswald uh, John Frusciante Strat today. And uh, yeah, so clean, overdrive, full out lead. And then we'll go from there. Because the effects sound the same. The effects are the same. Okay, so uh, further ado, let's make some noise. sound examples like i say clean overdrive and full out distortion uh let me know in the comment section below which one you preferred and why was it the mark one or mark two i'm really 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 looking forward to reading the comments on this video i'm so curious to what uh what you what you hear and like i say because there's well i'm just going to quickly say i think the mark one is better than the mark two I think the Mark II's good, it's an amazing sounding amp, but the Mark I is stunning. You know, I mean, and that's where I'm at with this at this point in time. Having played through it just now, having played through this for the last uh, Wednesday, for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Saturday, yeah, so. Playing through it the last four days. Um, this doesn't inspire me as much as this if that makes any sense. 
uh, even just now doing the sound examples, when I was playing through the uh, playing the sound examples through the the, the the Mark One, I was just like I could just I could feel it and I was loving it. When I when I switched over to Mark Two, that kind of it didn't go away, but it wasn't as prominent. If I may, I don't know if that makes any sense, but I will recommend the Mark One to anybody still over the Mark Two. Yes, the Mark Two has more features. It's got the dual concentric thing, so you can run like. Um, five different sounds at one time five different effects at one time but and it's also got like you know they're going to stop updating this and that you know there's going to be updates for this and what of you but i still reckon the mark one is is the best amp here um between these two i using that car analogy at the beginning of the video i kind of feel that's where where i stand with the mark two is it's just the, the, like they 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 perfected this. That's perfect. You know, the price point, sounds, features, tone studio, everything is perfect here. You can't get better than that. But they've tried, and to me, it just isn't there. And like I said, I've got to be honest. I've got to be honest. And considering this is more expensive than this was, brand new. I don't. I just don't see it. I don't see it. And I would have to keep going. I, I would have to keep using the Mark 1. I'm, I'm not going to keep a Mark 2. Um, I would prefer, if I was to get another Katana, it would just be another Mark 1 100. Or I'd get the head, uh, Mark 1 head. Uh, but I'm going to get rid of a Mark 2. It just isn't doing it for me. And in stark comparison to the Mark 1, when they're next to each other, I'm just like, it, this isn't, that's not what I want. The Mark One is everything I want. It's just it's just perfect. And the thing is too is like you know um, people have been saying I'll make sure they're updated and this and the other. I've never updated any of my katanas. You know they are as they are. You know these amps have never been updated. They are factory stock from when they came out. And I've never used a Tone Studio on them. I've never used anything on them because I don't I don't I've never felt the need to. I've always been able to plug into them and get what I want out of the the top panel. I don't I don't have to tweak anything, which is what I love and love so much about the Katana is no matter what happens, I can plug into this thing and get the sound I want just from the top panel and there's no faffing around, there's no kind of messing about or anything like that. And I just love it. I love the Katana Mark 1. I absolutely adore it. This is, I say, this is one of my favourite amps of all time. It just, and it always will be. And um, I just adore it. Whereas the Mark II feels like not much a step back but a little bit of a step back it doesn't feel or sound as good i don't think personally i don't i think the demarc one sounds better um it feels better for, for for me playing for it i've got to be honest like it feels better the mark one uh the mark one does it has this this beat in my opinion like i said people with you i'm so curious what do you think what's your opinion on this because i say this is this is in the same room same microphone, same settings, same distance, same guitar, same lead. You know, I'm trying to make it as like you know as concise and as as, as close as as, per, as as I could with playing. So let me know, people. Too, what did you hear? Which one did you prefer, and why? I say I'm so curious. I'm so curious because to me, the Mark One it just blow doesn't blow it out of the water, but it pretty much does. You know what I mean? It's just like yes, it's got less features, but the fact is, it's still a better amp. It still sounds better, and that's m the most important part. So I don't care if the amp's got a million features on it that you can use all, you know, all at the same time, and that's an amazing thing. If the sound isn't as good, if the sound isn't there, then it's it's pointless. You know what I mean? It's it's all well and good having like a million different kind of like features on an amplifier, but if a, if it doesn't sound good, or it doesn't sound as good as another amp, it's kind of like you know, uh, kind of like you know what what you know, of a simpler thing. What are you, which one are you going to go for? It all comes down to how it sounds more than anything. And the Mark One. It's just the sound. It just sounds better than this one to me. I just I'd prefer it. Um, which I kind of knew. If I'm if I'm being perfectly honest, in the unboxing video when I was playing through this, I kind of knew I wasn't liking it. It's a very inspiring amp, the Katana Mark II. It's a very inspiring amp, and the sounds are great, but. The Mark One never had me thinking, do I like this? 
you know what I mean? The Mark 1 was, I plugged in uh, the Mark 1, but as soon as I got the 50, I was just like, this is awesome. And when I got the 100, I was like, this is, this is wicked. This is, you know, this is absolutely wicked. And the Mark 2 had me doubting that. It's like, do I like this? Is this a good sound? Is that a good sound? I was constantly throughout the video going, I don't know if this is actually good or am I enjoying this? You know, and, and I think when that happens, it kind of like gets a bit funny. Also, another negative to touch on really quickly is uh, volume levels between channels. Um, the volume levels between channels on the Mark 1, I've never had an issue with. The, the uh, I have four presets on my 100. I have uh, a setting, uh, channel 1 is my pedal board setting, which is set like, you know, like crystal clean, so I can run pedals through it. Um, Channel 2 is a clean tone plug in straight to the amp, so it's my John Fushanti tone. Channel 3 is my more bluesy, uh, Jimi Hendrix kind of voodoo child, uh, catfish blues kind of sound, like, you know, that uh, the sound you heard. And Channel 4 is my full out distortion sound. Um, and I've never had any kind of issues with volume. I always, I always have the gain and, uh, or I always have the volume channel volume cranked to the max. I do everything from a master to get the volume. I know boss say you do it the other way around, but um, I don't really like doing it that way. I don't do it that way. You know what I mean? It, that's not the way I, I work it. And, I, and I've, I've tried it and I didn't like it. It didn't, in all fairness, I didn't really feel it made any difference whatsoever. But, you know, that, that, again, that's just me. And I'm, I'm, I'm a creature of habit. I know kind of how I use things. But I always had volume cranked on this one, and I've never had any kind of like between the channels, channel two, three, and four. When I flip between them, I've never had any kind of like volume spike. So like you know, channel two is volume here, channel three is volume there, channel four is volume there. Whereas with the Mark II, which I set up identical, um, channel two, uh, channel two was like here, and then channel three was there, and channel four was here. So it was, it, channel four, but the full out distortion thing, and it came out in the video as well, has been really quite quiet and very muffled. It was like this. Whereas channel one, uh, channel three didn't like that. The channels aren't like that on this. So you get volume jumps and also the variation switch on the Mark II. There's a, there's a huge volume drop. And I don't, I don't get that because if you're trying to use the variation, that's not really cool, man. They, sh they should be balanced. You know I mean? They should be the same, but at least, you know, I, 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 I would think so. I mean, I don't understand why that's like the way it is. And I, and I don't want a kind of like, you know, bad mouth for Mark II, but for me, it's just like, it, it's just not there. You know, it's just not. I mean, and, I, and I've got to be brutally honest here. It's just like the Mark I reigns supreme still. You know what I mean? It's just, it, this is this is absolutely bob on. And I say, I mean, for the price you can get these for as well, um, it's unreal. You know, so um, for for what it's worth, I would still recommend the Mark One. Yeah, the Mark One One Hundred, the Mark One Fifty. Um, what amp? You know, the, the, I can imagine the Mark One head's amazing. The Mark One Tube Twelve is amazing. I can't, I can't honestly recommend the Mark Two over the Mark One. I can't. It would feel, it would feel like I'm. It, I'd be, I'd be lying. I'd be lying, and I'm not gonna lie. The Mark One's best. Stick to the Mark One. If you want a Boss Katana, find the Mark Ones. The Mark Two is all right. It's a great amp, but it's not as good as the Mark One, in in my opinion. Um, you know, for 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 what that, for what that's worth, so to say. But like I say, I mean, I've got to be honest with you. I think the Mark Two just doesn't sound as good. It doesn't feel as good, and it's a lot harder to. Um... Yeah, it's just a lot harder to feel it. Uh... So like I say, I will not. I won't be keeping the Mark uh, Two. I will be getting rid of the Mark Two. Uh, I will be keeping the Mark Ones. And if I get another Katana, I'll just be getting another hundred watt Katana Mark One. I won't be getting the Mark Two. Uh, the Mark it, it, it does sound great. I will say that the Mark Two does sound great. And I wish the Mark One had the spring reverb sound of the Mark Two because I like that splishy drip kind of sound that it's got. Uh, but I'm not going to lose sleep over that kind of thing. You know, the, the Mark One's got a little foot stand in the bottom, which I use all the time. Um, the Mark Two doesn't. There's weird volume inconsistencies between channels. It still is easy to use and still easy to get a sound out of. 
And if I did turn up at a gig and it was the Mark II, I wouldn't be, you know, crying in the corner going, I don't want to use it. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be, you know, I'd be, I'd be more than happy to plug into this thing and, and use it for a gig. But, like I say, I just think the Mark I is, 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 is better. I really do. And that actually kind of is a little bit depressing, if I'm being perfectly honest, because, like I said, the unboxing, I didn't know really what to expect with the Mark II. Because I was like, how can they improve on that? Like, how can you improve on that? It's so good and it's so amazing. You know, how can you improve? And you can't, in my opinion, now. That, that might, it was like they, they haven't. It, you know, it, yes, it's got more features. It's got the dual concentric dials and all that. Either, but it's all come down to like, the sound and the feel of the amp. And to me, the Mark I just has the feel and the sound. Like, uh, whereas the Mark II just doesn't. So... People with a tube, like I say, let me know in the comment section below uh, which one you preferred and why. What was it about the Mark One or the Mark Two that you preferred? Because uh, as I say, this is this is my, this is my honest opinion: is the Mark Two just isn't as good as the Mark One. The Mark One just rules. So, um, so yeah, let me know in the comment section below, people with tube, and I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been really, really interesting. I've really found this intriguing, and like I say. The feeling I got out of the Mark One was not there in the Mark Two, and even in like the, as like I say, even in the unboxing video, I was in the back of my mind going, "I'm not sure if I like this. It doesn't. It feels nice, but does it feel better than that?" And I've got to say, I can honestly say now, no, it doesn't. You know, this amp feels better than this amp to play through. So, um, be that for what it is, everybody. So uh, anyway, um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody, and uh, yeah, I'll see you again on Wednesday for Q and A. Like I say, I won't be keeping the Mark II now. That'll be going. Um, the Mark I does, does it. So. so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. And I'll see you again very soon for another one. Have a great morning, afternoon, and good evening. And uh, yeah, goodbye now.